Do you want to know what's the difference between Stargate, Layer Zero, and About the Token Cell? If you want to know more, stay on this video. Let's talk about Layer Zero and Stargate, but before going to that, I have to introduce you something. And it's the next, is the Map of Zones. The Map of Zones is a website that allows you to see all the blockchains that are in the Cosmos ecosystem and that they are communicating with each other. And they are communicating each other with something that is called IBC, which is Inter-Blockchain Communication. Inter-Blockchain Communication is like a protocol that allows these blockchains on the Cosmos ecosystem to send messages. It also allows to make transfers of assets, okay? And this is what is giving a lot of traction to the Cosmos ecosystem so that you can have the Terra network, you can have Osmosis, you can have the normal um, Cosmos, and many others be able to communicate. Now, the same is happening on the Polkadot ecosystem. There you have the parachains, then these parachains, they can communicate with each other. Same for Kusama which is the canary networks of, of Polkadot. They can communicate with each other. And this is very powerful. And this allows these ecosystem, ecosystems to grow. But now, there is not a solution like that on Ethereum, or a solution that is making the same for Solana, and putting also together Polkadot and, and, and Cosmos all together. There is not an existing solution that allows this communication or is a communication with, with the blockchains. And this is where layer zero comes in. Layer zero is like for, us, for Cosmos, the IBC, the inter-blockchain communication. So layer zero is like a blockchain that allows the messaging between the different blockchains. Not necessarily the transfer of assets, but the base communication, the layer zero, the layer below the others that allows them to communicate so that other things can be built on top. One of the things, for instance, can be the transfer of assets between these blockchains. So this is layer zero. It's only for messaging. Don't confuse it with a bridge because it's not. It's only messaging. Now, there comes in Stargate. Stargate is an app that is being developed on top of Layer Zero. And this is where Layer Zero is strong. It allows to build apps that can communicate with blockchains. And Stargate allows to transfer native assets between the, the blockchains that the Layer Zero support. Okay, and not only transfer assets, but also transfer liquidity. So this is very powerful because it's like you have, for instance, uh, let's say USDC, you have it on Ethereum and then you want to transfer to Solana and you can do it and you can do it natively through Stargate. So Stargate is the application that allows you to make the transfer of assets and this you can do it also Polkadot or can do it also on Cosmos or any blockchain that Layer Zero supports. And this is the powerful thing. Now, Stargate is not a, a swapping, an inter-blockchain swapping. It only transfers the native assets, okay, or native stable comes that we can say, and or transfer liquidity with the touch of one button. So normally, the problem that the people have normally is that when they want to bridge an asset from Ethereum to, let's say, Phantom, they need to look for what is the bridge that allow. And then on the other blockchain, they don't have the native asset. And then it's so complicated. And maybe they transfer and they cannot receive on the other end. And, and on one end, the transfer is fails. It's a lot of complication. Stargate is solving what is called the bridging trilemma, which is what? Once you submit a transfer from, let's say, USDC from Ethereum to Solana, and once it is accepted on the, at, the, at the source, like saying Ethereum, is because it's already accepted on the Solana network. So it's called the instant transfer. Whenever you submit a transfer and it's approved, it means that it already arrived at the end. It's already succeed. Second thing, it allows 
that you can build liquidity in one place. So for instance, let's say that you want to have a, a liquidity between uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum in Avalanche, and you want to have a liquidity on the same liquidity on, on Ethereum, Bit, uh, wrap Bitcoin and Ethereum. And then you need to have these liquidities on different blockchains it's, and it's siloed in this blockchain, it's too com complex. So Stargate allows to build liquidity in just one place and that this liquidity can be interchanged in the other blockchain. So one place for building liquidity. So solve this problem. And another problem that solves is that you can transfer the native asset. So for instance, when you bridge Ethereum, okay, from the Ethereum network to let's say Binance Smart Chain, you get wrap Binance Smart Chain, uh, wrap Ethereum. Or maybe if you use another bridge like uh, any swap, you will get any ETH. Or if you use another bridge, you will get another synthetic asset of the original asset. Or if you want to wrap USDC to Avalanche through any swap, you will get any USDC. You get a lot of synthetic assets that then are not easy to trade or operate on the other chain. This is also being solved by Stargate and Layer Zero so that you can bridge or move from one network, Ethereum, to Avalanche, Ethereum to Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum to Solana, the native asset, instead of wrapping and creating different wraps that are related to bridge, you just move one kind of coin. And this is super powerful. And the most important part about Stargate is that everything is done with one transaction. So you don't need to do many clicks. And this also makes easy for program developers to build applications that are simple and that will allow to use this communication between blockchains and transference between blockchain of assets and create tokens that can do many things, okay? And are not dropped and unable to do. So for instance, um, let's say you have a, a stable coin or a token that grows dynamically. If you bridge the native asset on the other chain, it's going to be changing dynamically. But if you wrap it, maybe the wrap will not work. So Stargate allows this bridge of assets that are native and that will be working on the other blockchains. So this is why Stargate is so powerful, because it allows other applications or other program developers, developers to build applications that, are, that can move assets between chains and keep the let's say, keep the technology of this application of this asset working on the other chains. Now, Stargate is going to have the token public sale today. And as you can see here on the, on the, on the video in around 12 hours. So after 12 hours, depends, of course, when you see it, you will be able to participate for during 48 hours to to buy the, the, the token of a Stargate, okay? This is not financial advice, it's at your own risk. Well, the only thing I can tell you is that the maximum, this sale will stop in 48 hours or if 25 million USDC is deposited, okay? Because this is gonna be used as a, as a for liquidity at the beginning of the protocol. Uh, and these tokens that you purchase gonna be blocked for approximately one year and then six month vesting. So you can participate on this or you can wait this finishes or you can buy it later after this finishes, you can buy it directly the SGT token on the market. This is up to you. If you buy it after, you will be you will have not this lock. Now, uh, this is no financial advice. As I said, this is at your own risk, but Stargate is a project that is like the first project of layer zero developed by the same team that is very promising and looks to solve a lot of issues in, on the communication of blockchains. Now, I don't do many videos in English, so for me, it will be very important that you subscribe on this video so I know that the English-speaking audience is interested on my videos. So, if you like, hit the thumbs up, subscribe button, and the bell notification. See you next time.